You probably play this game like it means something to you. Step outside in the sunlight and get a job respectfully. And stop living with your mom and using all her internet. Good day. Kissy face emoji. This is just a snippet of the aftermath of fighting this cringe gamer girl and her army of simps. Anyways, let's get on with the video. We kick it off with Sergeant Griggs and I killing these purple tryhards that were griefing. And well, we absolutely slaughtered them up until a new griefer that came into the picture, which turned out to be this gamer girl in her sparrow. Oh man, I mean, it, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I honestly just expected to fight this one person, but that's when the first simp comes into play. From here, it was time to get this party going. Another hit marker, goddammit! Stuff was going pretty decently up until. It's crazy, as this battle went from a 1v2 to a 2v2, and now to a 3v2. Well, actually, a 3v3, because one of my friends just randomly joined the game and decided to help out. I want to help you. I want to help you get whatever you want. So we had a full-blown fight on our hands, and it was nothing but chaos. I have no idea how many simps she called up, but as I was trying to pick up this BST, another douchebag rolls up. And just have a look at this mess. We were nearly surrounded by these sweats. I gotta admit it, I did not see this coming in a million years. I did not see this coming. And there really wasn't any other option but to straight up fight it out. Sometime later in the fight, one of these tryhards grabs a vehicle, which turned out to be the Mark Noob, and we all know how that goes. I ended up taking another L after that, because one of my friends that was helping me had to head off for the night, so this 3v4 turned into a 2v4 very fast. Why is she it? The new plan was to absolutely annihilate these kids, and we had to do everything in our power to make sure that happened. With this being said, we set up shop in the Avenger, and this Mark Noob user did not like that at all. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. She then sends up what I like to call a prayer rocket, and that's just shooting a rocket and praying it hits. Then she went into an RC car. Since she was doing all that, and I really didn't want to waste my time searching for her, I hopped in a good old Starling, and I made my way over to I Want You On Me, and I have never seen such an amazing display of skill. Ain't nobody got time for that. Governor was over here all alone, so I made sure to keep him company with my homing missile. These guys are almost as good EWOing as the barcode from my previous video, and it got to a point where I was just flying over this man just because I wanted to see him EWO. Eventually, when they all EWO'd like a gazillion times, I ended up going to my agency and grabbing my Night Shark. Then I seen this monstrosity. In the words described is, oh my god. As soon as I came out of my agency, showtime, folks. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Los Santos Customs was calling my name, so after patching her up real quick, we went and set up shop in the Avenger yet again, and it was not long before this gamer girl pulled up and wanted us dead.
This chick was committed to killing us, but honestly, she was gonna fail. Although after my Avenger blew up, my night shark that was in the back of the Avenger ended up going to Africa. Hey bro, come on now, dog. Anyways, I think this girl needs some glasses because she completely <laughs> runs right by me. I ended up calling another car, which me and Sergeant were running to. And on my way to the vehicle, Sergeant gives the best call out ever and absolutely saves my life. However, I kind of failed to do the same. A few moments later. Once I seen her shoot my body, it became personal with me. As Sergeant and I are fighting this gamer girl, I notice a familiar gamer tag, which was this guy named Ends Bad. And it turns out that I had a run in with him in bad sports. And let's just say if he's in your lobby, things are probably gonna go south. And on top of that, I already knew his target was gonna be me. One teleport later, we're back in my Avenger. The gamer girl ended up going in RC. As for Governor, so we paid a visit to I Want You. And this man could not use the Avenger to save his life. Since Governor just kept e to the Avenger, I activated Autopilot and tried to get some snipes off, but that didn't work. At this point, it was kind of like this infinite circle. We would attack the cringe gamer girl for a little bit, and then she would go into an RC car, and then we would attack Governor, and he would just Ewo spam. After that, we moved to I Want You, and he would either blow himself up or hop into Avenger, which it turns out he did that again, but he still couldn't bring it home. I guess he can't set up shop as good as us. Then Love was nice enough to take out my ankles, which then she hopped in a vehicle and drove away. See you, chump. As for this next clip, please don't roast me too hard in the comments. You were this close and you blew it. I knew it was gonna be a long shot, but I decided to take out the sauce machine and try to get some sauce kills, but uh, Sandwich. Roughly about five minutes later, I see Love is at the top of the map, so we make our way over there in the Hunter, not really expecting much, but oh man. An idiot sandwich. Now this next part I kind of found funny. Love was sitting on this yacht with yacht defenses on, but she would occasionally turn it off to get some cheap snipes on us and then turn it right back on. Anyways, do you guys remember that tryhard from earlier named Ends Bad? Well, he made an appearance. Governor ended up leaving, but he joined right back a few minutes later, and him and Love both just sat on the yacht with yacht defenses on. And I guess that was a good thing, because the sweaties that take this game way, 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 way too serious started to pour in. And by that, I mean a permanent off the radar God mode barcode in a laser. boy and, and yeah. yeah man yeah. I, I i can't what am i gonna say Nothing. i can't believe it okay i can't believe what i'm seeing once i seen that i was kind of done with the lobby now for the good stuff i went and checked out love's profile and i couldn't help but see that she shared one of her dude's screenshots i then go to his profile let's have some fun you y'all a cringe gta e couple who said we were dating look at your cringe screenshots with your man dropping hearts what do you mean dot 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 that don't mean him and i is dating are you that dumb now it was time to get underneath her skin either way y'all are cringe from your play style to your outfit absolute l coming from a guy that was all on his best friend's meet in the avenger to the facility don't talk to me if you haven't hit puberty yet little boy <laughs> 
You probably play this game like it means something to you. Step outside in the sunlight and get a job respectfully. And stop living with your mom and using all her internet. Good day, kissy face emoji. Well, this is just great. Was me and one friend. Meanwhile, you had all your simps come and save you, and you probably still love with your mama. Stop acting like you're grown. Being cringe is your specialty for sure. The way you're talking shows me you ain't hit past 21 yet. Pathetic. Like I said, good day, kissy face emoji. Oh wait, I don't like underage little boys that still live in their mother's basement. Like I said again, good day, kissy face emoji. <laughs> Oh, and uh, imagine using the word cringe. Bye. Please comment down below your favorite part of the video. Also, I would highly suggest watching this video right here. It's an absolute banger. And until next time, peace.